Hi, I'm Paul Koloski, physical therapist and owner of Vallejo Physical Therapy here at 1235 Clear Lake City Boulevard. We're located in Suite F. We've been open since September 2007. And also, additionally, I'm a certified athletic trainer as well as a certified strength and conditioning specialist. Uh, we began using the, the low-level laser in about, about six months after that, that time period. I had a couple of cases that were uh, beginning to be a little bit more challenging. Uh, one particular case was a client that we had that uh, was suffering from uh, what ultimately turned out to be just foot pain that he was having, a referral, type trigger point referral pain um, in his, in his uh, foot that actually resulted in, or he had actually asked for the physician to amputate his second toe because of the amount of pain that he was having in that area. Uh, we saw the patient about six months after that, that amputation. He came in, we were doing the, a lot of the traditional uh, physical therapy or physical medicine uh, modalities, a little bit of the e-stem work, a little bit of the ultrasound work. Um, after about six sessions, I got a little frustrated with the case, called my supplier and said, hey, I want some more information on low-level laser. We had been introduced to it uh, very briefly when I was in physical therapy school. And uh, so I didn't know much more about it after that. So I uh, called him up and said, hey, uh, Frank, can you help me out with what this stuff's about? At that point, he said, yeah, Paul, you know what, I'll, let, me, uh, let me make a phone call. And uh, about two days later, I was introduced to, to Mike with Microlite, uh, um, Microlite uh, low-level laser. And uh, he came out, showed me the unit, talked me through it, taught me how to uh, use the laser, trained us up on that. Uh, then started looking at some different things with that client prior to that time. I didn't do a lot of work on referral patterns or looking at sort of the myofascial trigger point component uh, of rehab and uh, realized very quickly that this patient had a, a referral pattern coming from anterior tibialis. And so we put the low level laser on that, chased it with a little bit of soft tissue work and kinesio taping. Three sessions later, the patient no longer had this referral or phantom pain that he was feeling in his second toe. Um, so at that point, I was like, hey, what's going on with this laser? Mike said, you know, keep it, try it for a month or two, and then see what's going on. Uh, so at that point, we put the low-level laser on just about everything that came into the clinic, uh, especially I loved it on uh, frozen shoulders, uh, anything that was diagnosed plantar fasciitis uh, that actually maybe looked a little bit more like a soleus, you know, gastroc soleus trigger point. Um, and then uh, probably another one of our favorite um, diagnoses to put it on is anybody that's kind of got that acute muscle strain. You know, if they've got a, an acute hamstring pull, an acute low back pain uh, from working out in the uh, in the yard, uh, usually we'll put the laser on that. Uh, very quickly we get rapid results. Now Paul, uh, how do you charge for the laser today? Well today we charge for it a lot differently than when we started. Um, I was told initially uh, from Mike that, uh, you know, this is you know primarily seen, that it's not reimbursed very well from insurance companies. Um, but, you know, being a, a relatively new grad, new clinic, I'm like, well, hey, you know what, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be successful at that, right? So uh, we tried to charge for it uh, through the insurance companies. We did that for about six to eight months. Um, after fighting with appeals processes and not getting the, the codes reimbursed um, and then opting not to go back and chase, that, chase the clients down for that, uh, we, we took it as a learning experience and uh, switched over to a cash program uh, there uh, very shortly thereafter. Um, we offer it in two ways with the cash program. Uh, the first and probably the, the most popular is, is an add-on, a wellness add-on or an elective service add-on to our current uh, physical therapy clients. So they may be in for um, you know, whatever the treatment may be, say, uh, we'll say plantar fasciitis um, or a gastro trigger point. So while we're doing other things, working on the, some of the strengthening, some of the neuromuscular techniques that we may be working with, if the patient elects to have the, uh, to add the laser on. And that costs on. how much? Or, uh, we charge $15 okay. for that. Yep. Right, so and, uh, add on for $15. Add on for $15. Uh, our patients have been very pleased with it. Um, we also try to set the stage for them right there and, uh, you know, not let them know exactly how many times we think it's going to, you know, they're going to need it. That way, you know, $15 over, over three sessions, over six sessions, most people are okay with that. And, uh, you know, we just try to be up front with that information. Particularly if it works and gets them out of pain. <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. And uh, the other way that we do it is we will often have a lot of clients that, you know, they've tried other things before. They've, uh, they're not necessarily interested in physical therapy um, or uh, maybe they've been treated by a pain management physician for, for some time. Uh, and those guys may just come in and inquire about our low-level laser packages program, 
Um, and then with those, we will do anywhere from a three, six, nine, all the way up to 12 uh, visits uh, packages. That we'll and and what do you charge those. for that, Paul? Uh, usually, um, our single session um, visit is, is about $79. Um, after that, those packages get progressively cheaper. When you're up into the 9 and, and 12 range, you're paying a, about $30 per. Yeah, do you have a little card that you give them? You have I do, one? I sure do. Uh, one of the things we do for them to track that, uh, and I'm going to give a quick shout-out to, to Indy Free. Uh, they've done a great job helping us with this program. And uh, basically, it's a you know business card size um, card that they'll receive. And on the, on the back of it, it's got a low-level low, uh, low laser or 830 laser treatment. And basically, it's a punch card. So they come in, they'll pay for the package up front. We put the, their information on that card, and then we just punch that off every time. Um, one thing that's important that we think about this, we actually keep this here in the clinic. We don't let the patients take it with them. That way, they don't come in and say, hey, I've got a punch card, but I left it at home. You know, So we manage that. So it's aspect. part of their file, I guess. Absolutely. We will, we will cr create a wellness chart for this client, and uh, basically we keep this in there for them when they come in. That way we know what area we're trying to apply the laser to. Uh, as well as any other uh, releases and, and things that we need um, in there. So. And then on your website, you have, um, you know, click uh, here for a free laser treatment? Uh. Absolutely. Again, another thing that Indy Free is doing a great job with us is uh, they've completely revamped our, our website. On there now, we have a uh, click here for, actually, we can do a uh, phone, phone consult, um, and they also have a coupon on there uh, that gets anybody a free treatment. So a cur current client past client, someone that's looking to give us a, a test drive or a test spin, so to speak, uh, they can click on that uh, that coupon, bring that in with them when they come in, and uh, we'll give them a free free trial. Well, Paul, during the course of a week or so, or let's say a week and a month, how many patients would you see during the course of a week and, and maybe over a month that, uh, that are paying cash for the laser? Oh, goodness. Um, that's a great question, uh, Mike, and I, I let me think a little bit about that. 15, 20 uh, patients no, a week? It's, it's, uh, more than, it's probably more than that. We're probably right now seeing, I mean, most of our PT load, um, in which we see approximately 140 to 150 treatments per week, um, we're probably treating the laser on most of those, I'd say at least 50%. Wow. So that's 50, 60, 70 uh, low-level laser um, applications per week is what we're wow. doing. Wow. Yeah. Well, yeah. Paul, anything that uh, you'd like to share with other uh, clinicians that are thinking about getting the laser and charging cash for it as we kind of wrap up here? Well, I, I think it's a, it's an absolute, um, you know, one of the things I've always learned or heard in the past is, you know, learn from other people's mistakes. Uh, you know, I was a little hesitant in doing that when I first found out about this uh, this device and bestly, best how to apply it and as well as how to manage it from that business perspective, you know, coming from the clinician side primarily and not necessarily a business person's uh, uh, mindset. And so uh, for us, uh, since we've made that change, oh my goodness, it's completely changed the the cash flow in the clinic um, as well as the outcomes that we see from the patients. I know a, a lot of people when I hire a new physical therapist they don't know about this low-level laser either and so they're like Paul what is this thing that you're trying to have me you know put on these clients right. and so you know same thing I'm like hey take it home try it on yourself see what you've got get you know work through some some other issues that they may have on themselves um, and, and just give it a test run and and you will not be disappointed right, right. Um, and well, we always give it up you know it's even for our current clients, it's like, hey, we'll give you that free shot, put it, it on them, run it for, you know, eight to ten minutes, whatever's indicated, and then at the end of that, they're usually saying, how do I get more? Wow, what a great story. Well, Paul, thank you so much for your time, and we look forward to catching up with you again in the near future. Absolutely. Thank, thank you. you.